Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. I made a cute tank top. It's always fun working on small designs like tanks. It gives you a lot of freedom to try different things. For example, with this one, I wanted to make a tank that gave a tube top vibe, but with a bit more coverage that can pair well with some high-waisted pants. There's some front posts for a cute edging, and a bag of Chex Mix inspired me, so I added the bass weave section for some texture. Speaking of inspiration, we've got hundreds of designs to inspire, so consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me keep making content like this for you to enjoy. Now it's time to get the show on the road, so without further ado. For this project, any category 3 yarn will work, but I used a total of 120 grams of yarn. That's 150 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 4.5mm hook scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's padding giveaway by telling us your favorite part of Chex Mix. Chief is a fan of the rye cracker, while I prefer the wheat Chex. Details for the giveaway down below. Using four stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 3 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our four and a half millimeter hook, and we're all going to start by making a chain, the width that we want our basket weave detail to be, keeping in mind that it does need to be in multiples of three. So I want mine to be just about three and a half inches or nine centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 15. And now that we all have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and make an extra chain. This is going to count as our base chain. Block off that last chain. And then start our row number one with a chain three. This chain three doesn't count as a stitch. This is just our turning chain, and we also want the height. And we're going to be doing a double crochet row. So yarn over, insert your hook into that chain that you blocked off, or the fourth chain from your hook, with a double crochet. Let's do this again. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and let's do one more. Yarn over into that next chain, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Continue to put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we've put one double crochet into every chain, we're now going to get started on our basket weave section or our row number two. So to get that started, we're all going to do a chain three and flip our work. Like the previous row, this doesn't count as a stitch. Now when working our basket weave section, they're going to be worked in sets of three, and they're all going to be front post double crochets or back post double crochets. So let's get started with three front post double crochets. We're all going to start with one yarn over. Now we're going to be skipping that first double crochet from our previous row, and then inserting our hook underneath the next double crochet. So we're going to bring our hook down underneath the body of that double crochet and bring it through the other side. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through, and we should have three loops on our hook, so we're going to double crochet per usual. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have one front post double crochet. Like I said, they worked in sets of three, so let's do the next two together. Yarn over once, underneath the next body of that next double crochet, and bring it through the other side. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, and let's do one more for this set. So yarn over once, insert your hook underneath that next double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now all together we should have three front post double crochets. Now let's do our first back post double crochet. So yarn over, and we're going to bring our hook underneath our work. 
and over that next double crochet that we have. So bring it underneath, through that next loop, and then over our next double crochet. That's what it should look like. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through. Should have three loops on our hook, so double crochet per usual from here. So pull through two, pull through two. That is our first back close double crochet. Let's do two more to finish off this set. Yarn over, bring your hook underneath your work, and then you're going to bring it over that next double crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and let's do one more. Yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work, over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And all together, we should have three front post double crochets and three back post double crochets. Let's just do another set with each other a little bit faster, and then we can move on. So our next set is going to be three front post double crochets. Start with the yarn over, and then into that next available double crochet, bring our hook underneath and through the other side. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. There's our first front post. We have two more left, so yarn over, underneath that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then once more. Yarn over, underneath that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. And then we're going to do a set of three back close double crochets. So yarn over once, bring our hook underneath our work, and then over that next double crochet. So underneath, through that next gap, and then over that next double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and let's do the next two as well. Yarn over, underneath your work, and over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and let's do one more. Yarn over, underneath your work, and over that next double crochet. Pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. Now all together we should have three front posts, three back posts, three front posts, and three back post double crochets. And from here, we're going to keep alternating between three front posts and three back posts double crochets all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. All right, so our row number two is all finished up. And what we're going to do is close this row off with a double crochet just to make sure that this last stitch isn't flip flopping around. So go ahead and yarn over once and just insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row and then double crochet. And now we are actually done with our row number two, so let's get started on our row number three. Start with a chain of three, and flip our work. Now when it comes to our row number three, or any of our odd number rows, it's going to be an extension of our previous even number row. So what I mean by that is we're going to take a look at the last three stitches that we have from our previous row. Now since mine look like three back close double crochets, I'm going to be doing three back post double crochets, and so on and so forth. So for my next set, it looks like three front post double crochets. I'm gonna be doing three front post double crochets into there. If yours are opposite, that's completely fine. Just do whatever it looks like from the previous row. I'm gonna do my first three back post double crochets. So let's yarn over, bring your hook underneath your work over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. That is my first back post double crochet, and I'm gonna be doing two more to close off this set. So yarn over, underneath your work, and over the next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then once more, over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. And just to do the next set with you guys, my next set looks like three front post double crochets, so I'm gonna be doing three front posts. Yarn over, underneath that next front post double crochet, we're going to do another front post double crochet. So there's one, I have two more left to do. Bring your hook underneath, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then once more. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. 
Now all together we should have six stitches done and we're going to continue on with this pattern making our way all the way down making sure that we are extending our stitches from the previous row and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I've made my way all the way down with my row number three and we're gonna close it off with a double crochet just like how we did our previous row. That's gonna be how we close up all of our basket weave rows. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row with a double crochet. And all together we should have one, two, three rows. To work our way up to our next row, which is our row number four, do a chain three and flip our work. Now getting started with our row number four or any of our even number rows, we're gonna be doing the opposite set of stitches from what it looks like in the previous row. So just to show you guys, since these look like three front post double crochets, I'm now gonna be doing three back post double crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over once, bring my hook over that next stitch. I'm gonna pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Let's do the next two, yarn over, Bring your hook underneath, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and then just once more, yarn over, over the next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. Now that we have our first three all finished up, I'm gonna be doing my next three, which looks like three back post double crochets. So now I'm gonna be doing three front post double crochets. So I'm gonna start with a yarn over of one, bring my hook underneath that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. Let's just do the next two. Yarn over, underneath, with another front post double crochet for me, and then just once more. So all together we should have six stitches and we're gonna keep doing this, making our way all the way down, remembering that we're gonna be doing the opposite from the stitches from our previous row because now we need to switch it up. All right, so we have just made our way all the way down with our row number one, two, three, four. We're going to close this row off with a double crochet. And now let's get started on our row number five. So do a chain three and flip your work. Now, like I said in one of our previous clips, each of our odd number rows is going to be extension of our previous even number row. So just as an example, again, since these first three look like three front post double crochets, I'm going to be doing three front post double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch with one front post double, into the next with another front post double, and then just one more. And then just to do my next three, it's going to be three back posts. So yarn over, over the next stitch, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then that second one that we have, pull through two, pull through two, and we have just one more. Yarn over, over that stitch, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Continue to do this, making your way all the way down, and I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so I'm back and I made my way all the way down with my row number five and I did do my double crochet into that last stitch. So all together, we should have one, two, three, four, and then five rows. And from here, we're going to repeat rows two through five until we get the height that we want this portion to be. So I'm gonna be placing this right underneath my bust, making sure that I get the height that I want, keeping in mind that we will have a ribbed portion as well. So what we're gonna do from here is get started on our row number six, which is gonna be a repeat of row number two. And I'll let you guys move on from there. So start with a chain of three and flip our work. So my next row is my row number six, which is an even number row. So we're going to be doing sets of post double crochets that look opposite from our previous row. So since these look like back post double crochets, I'm gonna be doing three front posts. So there's my first. There is my second front post. And there is my third front post double crochet. And we're going to continue on with this pattern, making our way all the way down. If you guys need the individual timestamps for each row, they will be linked in the description. 
going to meet you guys back once we have this all finished up. All right, so I'm back with my basket weave portion and I have a total of 18 rows and my height is just about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. Now we're going to start working on the side panels and we're going to start this with a chain one. Now we're going to be working into the side of our basket weave section. So let's get that started. We're going to be putting two single crochets into every side double crochet row. So since this is my first side double crochet, I'm going to insert my hook into there with one and then into that same side loop with two single crochets. Let's do this again. This is my next side double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook into there with one and then insert my hook into there with two. And we're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down. All right, so I've made my way all the way down with my single crochet row. Our next row is going to be a half double crochet row. So to get that started, we're going to chain two and flip our work. We're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and then insert your hook into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops in our hook. So yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. Let's do this again. Yarn over, into that next stitch, pull through, pull through three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch, and I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, our row number two, or our first half double crochet row, is all finished up. And from here on out, we're going to continue with our half double crochet rows, but they're going to be within the back loops. So just to show you guys how to do that, we're going to always start our half double crochet row with the chain two and flip our work. Now from here, we're going to yarn over, inserting your hook into that first available stitches back loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitches back loop, pull through, pull through all three. And that is it. Continue to do this, making the way all the way down. We reach the end of our row, do a chain two, flip our work, and continue with our back loop half double crochets. Continue on with this until the side panel reaches mid back, and then do a chain up one and cut. All right, so I'm back with one of my side panels. From my first single crochet row all the way to where I ended, I have a total of 30 rows, and this is roughly nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters. And all we're going to do here is repeat everything that we just did. So start by inserting your hook into a corner stitch, do our single crochet row, half double crochet row, and then do back loop double crochet rows for the same amount of rows as we have on the side, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back and both of my side panels are all finished. What we're going to do from here is seam them together. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into the back panels, corner stitch. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook to secure. And now we're just going to do a single crochet seam. So how that's going to work is we're going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitch into the front panel. And then also into that first available stitch into the back panel and then single crochet. That's it. Let's do it again. Into that next stitch into the front panel and then into the next stitch into the back panel and single crochet. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down and I'll meet you guys back. We don't have any more stitches left. All right. So we have just finished up seaming our back and now we're going to work on our top band. So the first thing we're going to do is flip our work right side out so that the seam that we have is along the inside. And we're going to single crochet along the top. We're going to start by alternating between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So let's get that started. This is my first side half double crochet row right here. I'm going to find that top loop, insert my hook into there with just one single crochet. And then we're going to move on to our next side half double crochet and then put two single crochets into there. So into that top loop, I'm going to insert my hook with one and with two single crochets. Let's do one more set. This is my next side half double. Insert your hook into there with one single. And this is my next side half double right here. Insert your hook into there with two single. So there's one and then there's two. Now we're going to keep doing this along the tops of all of our side half double crochet rows. And once we reach the top of our basket weave section, we're just going to be putting one single crochet into each of those stitches. Keep doing this, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. 
All right, so now that we have just single crocheted along the top, we're now going to do a half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases. So right after I slip stitch into that chain space, we're all gonna do a chain two. And then from here, we're going to insert into that first stitch with a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch with one half double. Let's just do one more. Yarn over into that next stitch with a half double. And we're gonna keep putting one half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. All right, we've made our way all the way around with our half double crochet row, and now we're going to slip stitch it so we can get started on our front and back post ribbed row. So what we're gonna do from here is count up the two chains that we made when we first start off this row. There's one, there's two. Insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And now your half double crochet row is connected. Now to get started on the next row, we're going to do another chain two, and we're going to prepare for a front post double crochet. So since we already know how to do these, we're just gonna walk each other through it. So from here, we're gonna insert our hook into that first half double crochet from our previous row, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and now we're going to do a back post double crochet. So we're gonna be alternating between front and back posts, making our way all the way around. Yarn over, bring your hook underneath your work, and over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. So together we should have one front post, one back post. Let's do just one more set. Start with the yarn over so that we can do our front post double crochet. Into that next half double crochet, insert your hook into there with one front post double, and then one back post double. So yarn over, bring your hook underneath your work, and over that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And we're gonna keep alternating between a front post and a back post double crochet, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that second chain that we made when we started off this row, then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so our top band is all finished, and now we're gonna get started on our bottom band. So what we're gonna do is insert our hook into any one of our side rows along the bottom. We're gonna insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and just like how we started off the top band, we're going to single crochet along the edge. And we're gonna be alternating between one to two single crochet into every side half double, so let's get that started. This is my first side half double crochet row right here, so I'm gonna insert my hook into there with just one single crochet. And then into the next side half double, I'm going to insert with one and then two. Keep doing this, making your way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so now that we have just single crocheted along the entirety of our bottom, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our bottom band to be. Now I want mine to be about two inches or five centimeters. So I'm gonna start by making a chain of eight. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So go ahead and insert your hook into that second chain. We should have two loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through both loops on our hook. Let's do that again. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through everything. And then once more into that next chain, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to pull and slip stitch into every chain. All right, so I put one slip stitch into every chain. Connecting it into the base, we are going to insert your hook into that next available stitch with a slip stitch. And now this first row is nice and attached. So let's get started on the next row. We're going to slip stitch up just one stitch and flip our work. And from here, we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So start by inserting your hook into that next stitches back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Yarn over pull through everything. And we're gonna continue this till we reach the end of the row, do a chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again. Connect it into the base the same way that we just did, and then I will meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam our bottom band together. All right, so we are back and I have just finished up the entirety of my bottom band. I don't have any more stitches left to work into, so now let's seam up our work. So what we're gonna do, is insert our hook into the corner stitch of the back panel, and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through everything to connect the two panels. And from here, we're gonna be doing an outside loop slip stitch seam, so let's get that started. 
into that first stitch that we have into the front panel, go ahead and insert your hook into that front loop. And then into the first stitch that we have into the back panel, insert your hook into that back loop. And there we should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and just pull through all three of those loops. Let's do this again. Into the next stitch, into the front panel, insert your hook only into that front loop. And then into the next stitch, into the back panel, insert only into that back loop. Should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to continue to do that until we don't have any more stitches left. All right, so our bottom band is all seamed up. And the last thing we're going to have to do is add in our straps. So what I did is inserted my stitch markers into the front and along the back, right where I want my straps to be. So along the front, as you guys can see, I just inserted my stitch markers into the row that's right next to my detail and just went to that top stitch and inserted my stitch marker. And then I measured up and over and inserted my stitch marker into the back where I wanted it to attach into the back. And then once we have those, the next measurement that we're gonna make is going to be from our front stitch marker up and over our shoulder to our back stitch marker. And then we're gonna make a chain of that length. So start by inserting your hook into that stitch marker stitch into the front panel, making sure that our work is slipped right side out. And I have already measured out my chain. I want mine to be about nine inches or 23 centimeters. So I'm gonna start by making a chain of 40. All right, so now that we have our chain, we are going to slip stitch it into that stitch marker stitch that we have along the back. So we're gonna insert our hook into there, yarn over, pull through everything. And now it should be nice and attached. And now just to make it a little bit thicker, we're going to single crochet back down. So since our work should all be flipped right side out, we're going to slip stitch towards the left, just one stitch, flip our work, and then just put one single crochet into every chain. So just to do the first one, we're gonna insert a hook into that first chain with one single crochet and continue to do this, making our way all the way down. I'll meet you guys back once we reach the base. All right, so now that we have single crochet down our chain, we're just going to slip stitch it into that next stitch. We want to make sure that our work is still flipped right side out and that we are slip stitching into the stitch towards the left of our chain so that the single crochet row that we just did isn't twisted. So I'm going to be slip stitching into this stitch, yarn over, pull through everything, and then do a chain up of one to secure. Once we have that, go ahead and do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. Now that both of our straps are all finished up, the last thing we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, guys. We are all done with the tutorial. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. All of those links are down below. And like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye!